Hi, I'm Gladys and today we're going to assemble the wig strip. Make sure you have all the proper pieces and hardware and if anything is missing, please call Consumer Care. One way to know you have the proper hardware is to compare them with the illustrations that come in the instructions. Like that. The first step is to attach the posts to the ends of the crib. You will need four metal pens, four 40 millimeter bolts, four barrel nuts, four 55 millimeter bolts, and the provided Allen wrench. And remember to always use the short part of the Allen wrench to tighten the bolt. Insert the barrel nut sideways because that's where the bolt is going to go through. Done. The second step is to attach the ends of the crib to one of the sides of the crib. You will need four barrel nuts, four 90 millimeter bolts, and the other wrench. And don't forget to use the short side of the other wrench to tighten the bolt. And we're done with this step. The third step is to attach the mattress support. And for this, we will need four 18 millimeter bolts and the other wrench. Remember to attach the mattress support on the highest position and then go downwards once your child grows. Don't forget to use the shirt side of the Allen wrench to tighten the bolt. And that's it. The fourth and last step is to attach the side of the crib. And for this, you will need four barrel nuts and four 90 millimeter bolts and the other wrench. Don't forget to use the shift part of the Allen wrench to tighten the bolt.
and that's it. Remember your instructions? You can store them away in the pouch. Like that. Congratulations, you just assembled your waves crib. Now we're going to convert the crib into a daybed. Remember those instructions you stored away? You're going to need them. As your child is bigger now, the mattress support should be on the lowest position. The first step is to remove one of the sides of the crib and all you're gonna need is your Allen wrench. Remember that we will remove barrel nuts and the bolts as well. For the last step, we're going to attach the conversion rail. And for this, it would be easier to loosen up one side of the mattress support. For this step, you will need two metal pins, two 90 millimeter bolts, and two barrel nuts that you just removed from the side of the crest. And remember to always insert the barrel nut sideways. Don't forget to tighten up the mattress support. And you're done. If you want to convert your daybed into a toddler bed, toddler guardrails are available for purchase.